Want to know what niche to enter for dropshipping in 2019? I'm going to teach you how now. So there's a number of ways that we can go about trying to find what niche that you want to enter in 2019. Obviously one of them is sort of understanding what sort of trends and global trends as well as just trends in general going on. Uh, before we sort of get into it a bit further using data, the, the things that I sort of see that's going to happen is more essential oils. Um, I see a lot of a lot more beauty products um, definitely going to become like and a lot of health organic items you know like items that are not going to harm the environment and have a, a positive effect on people and like items like this is like for instance I, I see this as one like a waterfall incense burner right so you know items that promote um, a more organic health wellness mindfulness that seems to be a really big thing mindfulness um, so items like that, I see a really big trending item. So keep that in mind. But what we, what I do, so if I am ever stuck about, let's say, a niche I want to enter, um, whether it's a, a very targeted niche or a more broad niche, um, whatever, is um, I just use a simple two tools. I just use primarily Facebook, and then I'll use Google Google Trends. So for instance, I've got a couple here. We can see like I typed in egg cracker, um, which I think was an item that I saw, not in that one, sorry, in one of these, but anyway, oh, there it is. So we can see that, that this was posted way back, so it doesn't 100% mean it's accurate, but if we put in egg cracker here, and you can actually change this from US um, to worldwide if you wanted, um, and actually see what you know what it's doing worldwide and you'll actually see it from going from US to worldwide very similar okay so if we put in uh, US we'll see that generally speaking it's it's actually very similar but see how actually in the US it's doing better um, this is part of the reason why I know a lot of people go and market to uh, multiple countries like you know e all e-packet countries the top five countries straight off the bat Whereas I generally just stick to the US um, and then I might venture out because shipping becomes expensive, um, especially if you are shipping from the US, would be um, that you can see the difference is pretty much the same. We can see that this has sort of a baseline. You always want to see as long as it's got sort of a baseline. So we can see that the baseline is about 25. So it's always got interest. It's not going down. It's just going through up various phases. And that usually just comes down to that a different type of product or, or the season comes into it, okay? So uh, it just depends on the season. Like you think of it like summer, people are more likely to eat eggs because they like to eat outside, you know, eggs and bacon for breakfast, which <laughs> I actually had for breakfast. But anyway, but basically um, what you can see here is, is that this is trending up. So we're seeing that it, its highest was a hundred right on 100 but we're going where it looks like we're going up to its more sort of pinnacle of its pinnacle high point so its high point average to me is around the 50 to 70 mark from what I see from the analytics here so this is trending okay so if you're ever unsure so that what the, what, what niche that would be perfect in is just a, a kitchen niche okay just make a kitchen store um, uh, you can make um, whatever the store name will be kitchenlifestyle.com who knows it's probably taken but anyway so and you can just make it and uh, it always converts higher when you make a sort of niche store that has a similar name as opposed to uh, a lot of the stores are um, what is it something trending viral viral trends today viral buys I don't know all of those general stores just don't seem to get that higher conversion rate whereas opposed to uh, if you get niche down just even with the name and that it makes all the difference um, it really does and so that's why you know you get a good logo you get a good uh, sort of relevant domain name and you spend a couple of hours set up your store it doesn't take long and then you're good to go but you can see as well um, part of the reason I do this is you can sometimes see bacon I do like bacon um, you can part of sometimes see different related products that actually give you an idea so this can help you with niches as well so if you use veganism, 
that's a big thing in 2019. So there's a lot of protests about, just here in Australia recently, there was a protest about, um, uh, for, from vegans in major capital cities trying to protest about stopping to kill them, okay, for, for various forms of meat. Um, so veganism is becoming a big thing, okay? So if you think about that, right, the types of item that come to mind is one that I've used in a number of videos and it's like that multi-chop uh, vegetable cutter thing. You know, a lot of people are uh, trying to eat a lot healthier, detox diets, which comes into a lot of the equation of, of the sort of veganism, vegetarian, and so a lot of those items, and we gotta correlate that to, to items that we can actually drop ship. And so simply what immediately comes to mind is like vegetable cutters, food cutters. Um, uh, another popular item I've seen a lot is, you may a number of you may have seen it, would be um, the new grocery bag. Like it's a multi-use grocery bag, really cool grocery bag, and it helps save the environment. People are becoming very passionate about not using plastic bags and trying to avoid plastic bags as well as avoid paper um, and try and get something although it is plastic that's reusable right so you can look at all this and you get a heap of ideas so for me right now i've kitchen niche as well as the um health okay so right just from this i've gotten two ideas that i can enter the kitchen niche around egg crackers and i can enter this sort of um health detox so i would put um lifestyle detox.com let's say and have the the vegetable food slicer or something okay um they all sort of go into the same sort of niche but you get the idea another one that i see is essential oils now you can see that essential oils is always pretty high okay it is competitive um, but there's always that opportunity. We can see it's actually downward trending right now in the US. So it is on a side of caution. Um, we can see though that part of the reason for that is, uh, I believe because it hit a pinnacle and now it's just drifted down a little bit, but it'll probably drift back up in the coming months. Okay, so again, you can get, you know, like look at that bed bug insect spray. Okay, again, a lot of these we can't um, actual actually market because they're not drop ship items. I do say to decide on the side of caution when we come to items that you put on skin, especially if it's meant to replenish skin, uh, you don't want a potential lawsuit on your hands. So uh, full disclosure, always understand the product before you just market it. You don't want to get in hot water. Okay, so we can actually see what essential oils are bad for pets. Okay, I didn't even think of that, but we can see that that, okay, people are buying essential oils for their pets. So you can actually just make a pet store around essential oils if it's a, a good product. As simple as that. Uh, essential massage with essential oils, okay. So you, the only one I get an idea for this is essential oils for pets i personally went into this with going to this page just thinking essential oils for humans i didn't realize people got it for pets there you go there's product research for you right there as simple as that all right and so if you ever get stuck starting from the beginning i like to um just type in facebook get yours here okay so i will type in uh just simple words like i put in this case hair straightener so i opened up this one and again we can see hair straightener because a lot of items I've seen right now are um, trending around hair straightening. Okay, so hair straightener items are um, definitely popular. There's like three or four different variants of hair straighteners at least going on at the moment that are doing quite well. Another one that really interests me is, um, no, 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 no. Um, get yours here, vacuum cleaner. Okay, so our um, vacuum cleaners. I've seen these uh, a lot um, as of recent, whether it's for cleaning your pet, okay, um, uh, for dogs, I've seen one like that, but there's like the robotic one. So robotic vacuum cleaner, maybe I'll change it to that, sorry. I see that a lot of autonomous related devices and drones and stuff, drones are definitely gonna be coming back into it as well. So if we have a look here, robotic, probably a bit too specific. So robotic, let's put it in Google Trends though. Robotic vacuum cleaner. Maybe I should just put in robotic vacuum, maybe. Um, if we have a look first. Robotic, so you've got even robotic lawnmowers. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, but you can see here that it's definitely peaked um, uh, by the looks of it. 
uh, well over a year ago now and it has drifted way back down but we can see that it sort of hit its baseline okay so we can see that it's around the 25 not a huge profit product but we can see that this is a product that I think that has quite a lot of potential. A lot of people love the idea of, of a device that pretty much runs 24-7 or whatever time frame, and, and it does cleaning for you as well. A lot of these autonomous devices are going to become very big. So there's another robotic one, robotic garden. Robotic garden? Um, I'm trying to find the word. We can see that it's definitely trending up. Um, uh, robotic garden weeder I think it is probably a bad one but I've seen a product that's a, a robotic and actually clears out weeds and um, but I'm not sure if that's a patented product so uh, I may be wrong but my point is you, you can see that these are definitely trending up if you can find one that does well we can you can definitely scale it. but starting from the beginning regardless because I want to give you guys you know a lot of you uh, really find it difficult with choosing a product and I can understand that um, so if we go waterfall incense burner uh, let's see waterfall incense burner okay so we can see that it definitely trended um, just over a month ago uh, a couple of months ago so this is when the product really started we can see in December obviously did well always just as, as a little general tip when you're using Google Trends, disregard December, um, sort of the October, November, December. We all know the reason why that is, is it's Q4. We're just going to get a shit ton amount more sales than normal. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, all of those um, that come into it. So you can use it as an indicator, but do not worry about it because then straight after Christmas, as you can see, it's going to literally drop. Nearly every product you look at after Christmas, they will drop um, significantly. And so you always want to look sort of before that, in the other three quarters, because that's the most important. Don't get me wrong, obviously, if you are marketing around Q4, you are going to get a lot more sales, which is beautiful. But I want you to not use it as the point of, oh, shit, you know, um, this is definitely a trending product. Some products only trend around different seasons. That's why we have Easter, Halloween, all of those, right? So we can see that someone has definitely marketed this very high, and we can see that it has died down quite a bit, um, and we can see it's continuing to die down. So maybe this isn't actually a good example. Maybe the words I have chose is uh, not a good one, though. But I know that incense burners are becoming uh, very popular. We can see that that's there too. And another sub-derivative of that are uh, humidifiers. I've got one here, actually humidifiers so if we have a look here well we can see it's actually trending down but humidifiers definitely through a phase there have done historically quite well and just we can see just a couple of months ago so if you can try and find something that's sort of trending upwards then the chances of you also um, when you build your store and market the products of it actually converting it just helps that bit more and you can just use Google Trends to um, uh, to actually do this so if we have a look here best Friday baby what okay let's have a look at this so this is what's cool is you can just click it and I'll put it in so I don't know what this is but this is definitely trending absolutely trending right now um, Friday Friday baby humidifier so there you go there's a winning product and apparently it looks like in New York for some reason this is just ridiculous so if you're from New York I would love to know why comment down below I bet basically um, you get the, you get the point here humidifiers are definitely big and it all comes down to that health and wellness that that's really trending organic you know um, you know mindfulness and all of that so I wanted you to get that idea now if we go back to the uh, this broad one if we find another one okay so we've um, what's this full body pillow I'm sure a number of you have seen this already so if we have a look here full body pillow all right so we can see that that's trending back up and we can see that it's got again a baseline so that meets my criteria i know it's not trending down it's um trending up right now and it's historically gone you know going through its various spikes and it looks like it's going through another spike so right now is the ample opportunity for the next month or so i would say because as you can see like it every month it's like every one to two weeks that it really goes through its spikes that you can scale this okay so here we go and here here's the other one the other search term and if we have a look here full body pregnancy pillow okay so we can see that this this is definitely spiked based on whatever season and stuff we can see it's doing well as well so if you've seen a 
pregnancy full body pillow, which I believe is that, um, or it's just the full body pillow, then that's a perfect item to start with. So using all of those niches, using all this data, we can now really get a good idea and just using Google Analytics to, here we go, silky hair, um, professional hair straightener. And, and the breakouts are ones that are trending, okay? So it's important to understand that anything that, well, should be, um, <laughs> I just contradicted myself, but the ones that technically are breakouts are the ones that should be uh, generally trending from what Google um, actually tells us, okay? So don't, don't use it as a hard and fast rule. It's like anything. I, I just wanted to make this because I've never really made a video actually on Google Trends as much as I do use it. <laughs> so I've never made one, but just by using the other product research tools, finding a product, whether it's a print on demand product or not, typing in the name here in a broad sense, okay? D don't be too specific because otherwise it's it's not gonna find it. You have to be very somewhat specific, but broad all the same, okay? So if I, um, you know, try and find another product. So let's let's see. Sorry, let's see um, this one. Okay, so um, dog gate is what comes to mind. So you just think of something dog gate. All right, so we can see that dog gate is trending down, but we can see it's actually got a lot of demand. Okay, and if we go um, fabric dog gate. Okay, so see now we can go a bit more specific, and let's see. Let's see what, okay, so we can see it's trending right down right now. So it's going through various phases, so that's not probably a good one. So if we try and now put in dog gate again and see what other ones we can find. Mesh dog gate, okay. So I'm just gonna open these up in new tabs actually. Magic dog gate. So this can give you ideas as well on what to actually type in Facebook to actually try and find the product as well. Okay, so it's really important to keep in mind. See how the more specific we are, it can, so it's definitely trending down right now, but it had, um, that's what the projected trend is. Looks like it's recently been trending up, but projected is trending down. So if we have a look here, but this one's trending up, okay? So magic dog gate. So if we type in now, magic dog gate. So this, this is why it's turning up, okay? So people are using the word magic dog gate to, to market it. We can see here, uh, I think this is one of the bigger ones, that um, that's, what, that's why. So magic dog gate, right? And we can see that heaps of people are pretty much mimicking this exact ad uh, to try and get a piece of that pie. And we can see obviously earlier, later, et cetera, et cetera. That's why that key term is trending up, okay? That's not to say that that's exactly you can use different ones. You could use um, Magic Dog Gate. You could use Amazing Dog Gate. There's different search terms, but the point is, is that we've been able to quickly ascertain that this product as a whole is definitely trending up right now. And if you had a look, let's say on AliExpress, if you looked um, at the orders for that type of product, um, if you looked on the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, um, then you would probably see a similar reflection, and we can see it on Facebook. So we've got all the data to know that this is definitely a niche that we can um, product and niche that we can actually try and market with a good chance of it doing well. So I would simply just make a dog niche store. So um, uh, it doesn't have to be a, a one product store. If you wanna do that, that's fine. I personally don't do one product stores, but um, I uh, would make a dog store, you know, everything canine, everything caninehappy.com, right? So uh, because it does actually help once you set up your store, with a lot more with conversions because you know people aren't going to a, a Walmart Shopify store they're going to a specific store they feel more comfortable buy from because it's technically your speciality in that type of niche right so that is the niches that I think are going to do quite well in 2019 a lot more autonomous humidifiers health well-being oils all of that are going to do well hair products are going to do very very well and obviously a lot more just skin um, products to try and help uh, men and women with their skin and also another one that I'm seeing a lot more of um, as a little tip is men's beard items so there's beard oils and then there's the beard brushes different types of brushes to give it different types of effects and so now you know that you, how you can use uh, Google Trends along with Facebook just simply like without much work at all like you can see I was just going completely ad-lib with this um, where I found some products 
that are now validated that on the back end, just on Google's platform, which is the biggest uh, search engine in the world, that it's telling me that this product is actually doing well on Google. So if it's doing well on Google, what that tells you is that, so what happens, right, is so when you're marketing on Facebook, you know, you're getting 5K a day, 10K a day, you're, you're gonna, you will notice that you're gonna get some sales here and there of someone direct to your store, someone through Google, Bing, Yahoo, um, various forms of services, whatever. And um, that's because a lot of people, if it's direct, they're typing in the URL of your store and going straight to your store. If it's like through Google, obviously it's Google, Bing, Bing. And so uh, what that means is people are, are, are going on Google and that's why I recommend made that video on making a brand search campaign for Google, which takes like 10, 15 minutes, totally worth it, especially if you're scaling, that uh, you can you can now be confident that, because what's gonna happen is not like, it would be 90 plus percent of your traffic is always going to be Facebook and then the other 10% is going to be Google. So if it's trending on Google and only 10% of the traffic, whereas 90% is from Facebook, you can be pretty confident that it's a type of product that's actually doing big, big, big numbers on Facebook so that we can try and replicate that and try and make it some of our own. Okay. I hope that makes sense. All right. So thank you. And that concludes today's video on what niche to choose in 2019 for dropshipping. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. Comment, crush it to go on the chance to win one of two 15 minute coaching calls. And congratulations to today's winners. Thank you so much for commenting, everyone. Your names will be shown up on screen. Just contact me on Instagram or via my email, ricky at rickyhayes.co. So, that I can, so we can schedule a 15 minute coaching call. I do also wanna add, my course is still on sale. I've decided to extend it um, just because I'm, I'm being so surprised. I've been helping so many people and uh, I've really come to realize that the, uh, the price was the main reason that people hadn't gotten into it. So I have changed my pricing scheme to, to really help you guys. So I've decided for another week to leave it on sale. There's a link down below. I would suggest jumping in right now. You're gonna get access to my course which has over 16 hours content. I actually spent a couple of hours having to put it, uh, the time together, over 85 videos and counting, um, lifetime access for updates, lifetime uh, mentoring in my group, all for free. Okay guys, and I add heaps of resources and there's more and more and more. If you're interested in that, of course, that's entirely up to you, that is fine. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today. Have a lovely day, take care and goodbye.